Okay, so this is going to be a well needed update for the Mark V GTI, which was originally on the channel as an all wheel drive conversion car. So we have since done all wheel drive conversion on this. But while we had it apart, the owner wanted to make a bit more power and uh, things kind of snowballed from there. So for those new to the channel, I'll link above, there is a, quite a few v videos detailing how to do an all wheel drive conversion in the Mark V, Mark VI chassis um, with lots of great information. Also, it will kind of show you the parts list of what we're doing with this thing now. The last time we had it on the dyno here, I think it made 400-ish wheel. The charge pipe popped off at the end of those, the last run, which when we had turned it up and I had just given up because we were putting it on the hoist anyways, and it was the charge pipe underneath the car. The most it had made previous to that was 450 wheel. That was with the direct port injection and one additional fifth injector in the charge pipe. All of that's changing now. We've done a lot more, excuse my phone. All of that's changing now. We've done a lot more to the engine. We're doing a much larger turbo, shooting for a few hundred horsepower more um, with Cyvex standalone. As I mentioned, tons and tons of really, really cool parts on this. Uh, also, we're doing the transmission, endless things. So Clayton can add a few clips to kind of bring the new subscribers up to speed on this thing. But we're going to show you what we've got done in this video. Okay, we got the TSI engine all cleaned up. We're ready for assembly, reassembly. I had to spend quite a bit of time going through and gapping all the rings appropriately. I still got to check the clearance on the bearings. Uh, we're going to be using a set of IE connecting rods with a set of JE pistons on this. I have swapped out the rod bolts uh, for a set of custom made 625s for a bit more security, a bit more strength with these rods. Also, um, we do have, um, before I get to that, we do have everything cleaned up, ready to go, so we're not gonna be held out when we try to get to the point of reassembling this thing. Um, also, in the intake manifold side, this is an early revision of the intake, uh, our IE's intake manifold for this platform. They originally came with uh, ports for water meth injection. Now you can get this intake manifold for ports for fuel injectors. So what we did is we bought the fuel rail that matches this intake manifold. But I have, and because I've made quite a few fuel rails in my past, uh, we have a specific drill bit to drill out holes to fit injectors in one kind of step. So we got to drill out this intake manifold to match the uh, injectors and then we'll get the rail on it and we'll finally start to be able to reassemble this thing. Um, the head's back from the machine shop so we're basically getting the bottom end together. We'll get it timed up and we'll get the head back on it or get the head back on it and then get it timed up and then I can finally put the transmission on it and uh, start building the exhaust manifold for this setup. So let's get to it. Okay, last one, clicking the last one in place. Easy peasy. Okay, I think every time I pick the GoPro up, the battery's dead on it. Never fails. So, anyways, the TSI engine. Rods and pistons are in. We still got the oil pan and all that stuff to do, but I want to get the cylinder head on. And in regards to the cylinder head, we had this thing set out with one millimeter uh, oversized intake and exhaust valves. And also, I can do this with one hand without destroying anything. We went with a set of SuperTech uh, springs and retainers as well. So we'll be able to get a little bit more RPM out of the thing and a little more flow. Obviously the cylinder head looks like brand new now. 
So it's time to get the gasket, we'll get the studs in and get the gasket on it and get the cylinder head in and start buttoning this thing up. Okay, there we have it. Just torque down, ready for uh, to put the rocker arms and cams and everything, the cam bridge and everything back together. Still gotta put these four bolts in still, um, and then time it all up. But we're slowly getting there. Okay, timing stuff is done. We got the updated guides off of a Gen 3 TSI. A um, little bit longer down here. Uh, the oil pump one has to be changed out just because of the shape and behind it doesn't fit with the new guide. This new guide is longer and wraps around the chain a little bit more. It's probably, yeah, you can see it in there. Uh, and it's a little bit longer up top and the upper is longer as well. So just a little less likely for the chain to go anywhere that it shouldn't. And, uh, but now that we got that done, cams are in, obviously everything's timed up. We'll start putting the pan on and the side covers to get this thing finally buttoned up. Okay, before I button this up, one thing that I changed now that I've timed it all up and had it uh, rolling over a few times by hand. This tensioner I thought needed to be replaced with the newer style tensioner because of the fitment. But it looks like with this tensioner on there, just so guys know if they ever decide to upgrade to the Gen 3 uh, guides, this isn't required. And if you did try to run this, the oil pump chain is going to be way too slack and definitely going to cause problems. So the old tensioner, I think what would happen, I don't know 100% because I don't have two of them side by side, but I would assume on the Gen 3 that the oil pump chain is probably one link shorter because the design of this uh, tensioner is slightly different. You can kind of tell one's humped out a little bit more than the other. Um, so yeah, I put the, I was able to put the old tensioner back on. I actually didn't think it fit, but it clears perfectly fine and it takes all the slack out exactly as it should. So just make sure if you're doing this and you're upgrading to the longer guides um, that you do need to use the original style oil pump tensioner with the new guides. Now, time to seal it up. Okay, I got the two liter mostly buttoned up here. I got new set of plugs in it, um, already gapped and ready to go. So when we get this thing all back together, I don't got to worry about it. I got the adapter plate for the catch can set up on it. Next up is getting to the intake manifold. So we have the intake manifold now drilled out for the injectors um, and the IE fuel rail adapter set up. These intake manifolds originally came with water meth injected ports here that took like a 3 8 fitting in there so we had to drill those over for the injectors. I do have a set of 1200 cc injectors going in it. Keep in mind this is going to be staged injection so we're going to run the car on the direct port 
injectors and then for all the additional power we're going to be staging in these injectors i got some plugs for it as well because we're going to have to build the harness into the ecu and i got the uh, exhaust manifold flange for it as well because i got to build a tubular exhaust manifold for it and obviously the turbo we're probably going to do a bottom mount on it um, we won't be able to see exactly the space and all that stuff and that's why we're going to get to the transmission next get the transmission built get it all together with the angle drive and then we'll start messing with the exhaust manifold and building the runners and stuff once we have a good idea where the turbo is going to go so now i'm going to get back to putting the intake manifold together and uh, then we can start tearing on to the transmission okay the transmission for this thing is all apart as you can see we got basically a transmission in a milk crate uh, so what we'll do probably is kind of end this video here we'll give you more detailed information about the transmission the gear set and what we're going to do to the case in the next video so for anybody who has any questions or comments, especially all the new uh, subscribers to the channel about this thing, be sure to ask them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.